Previously, I put an 80 volt battery on my 48 volt controller to run my 36 volt motor on my scooter. I couldn't get it up to 27 miles per hour on this battery. Whereas my 60 volt battery would max out at the same speed. The 80 volt battery should easily outperform the 60 volt battery. So something is missing here. I've got quite a few comments saying that the 80 volt battery doesn't have enough power to run the scooter because it's only 1P meaning there are 20 cells inside its battery and all of them are connected in series so it doesn't have enough current to power the scooter well the thing is this battery is made to run outdoor power tools like chainsaws, lawnmower and blowers so it should be capable of running these scooters as well here is the inside of the cobalt 80 volt 2.5 amp hour battery pack it's made of Samsung INR18650-25R18650 high discharge cells and there are 20 cells total in here and these cells are rated at 20 amp continuous discharge rate and if you take 80 volt times 20 amp we got 1600 watts this controller is 350 watts 1600 watts versus 350 watts so this battery is more than capable of running on this controller so what that means is the bottleneck here is the controller and not the battery over here I have a 72 volt 1500 watts brushless DC motor controller here and in this video I'm going to put it on my scooter with the same 80 volt 2.5 amp hour battery and see if it's any better as a comparison this is the 350 watt 48 volt controller this is 1572 volt controller you see the difference in size it's a lot bigger so hopefully this is gonna get the job done and this is the chance for my 80 volt battery to redeem itself is it gonna work let's find out I have just finished wiring the controller to my scooter so it's just basic wiring the uh, power cable to the battery three phase power cable to the motor hall sensor and throttle control that's pretty much it I was planning to put this controller inside the space where the battery used to be I already removed the battery but the problem is this controller is way too big the width of the controller is bigger than the width of the space inside the scooter for the battery so I cannot put this inside here so what I did is I just cut this bottom plastic cover and make a hole so that I can feed my wire through here and then I'm gonna mount this controller right on here and then I'm gonna use my bungee cord to secure it together just for now just for this test to make sure that everything works as it should so here it is securely mounted by the bungee cord this just for this test if it is successful I'm gonna find a better space to mount this permanently on the scooter got a battery installed let's put it to the test All right moment of truth got everything hooked up and ready let's turn it on 83.1 volts Wow, that's good acceleration. Let's see, 17, 20, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, wow. 30.2. Thirty point two miles per hour. Oh, it's fast. Yep, we maxed out thirty point. 
two miles per hour. All right, so this is my second run. This is the speed selector cable. I'm sorting out the gray and black pin here, and that is for higher speed selection. I have ran for a couple miles, so the voltage is lower than before. This is a small battery anyway, so hopefully I still get a better speed. Whoa. You can hear the wheel spin. Let's see what we got. 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31. Wow, 32. Woo! 32.6 miles per hour. 32.6. Woo! This is a lot better. Woo! Let me show you the uh, acceleration. It's so ferocious that it would spin the wheel every time I try to push it when I accelerate. So, what have we learned? Absolutely nothing, I'm afraid. We have learned that the 80 volt battery is actually better than the 60 volt battery. Wow, absolutely groundbreaking. Duh, it doesn't take a genius to realize that, does it? However, I have answered the most fundamental question that a lot of you have. A small 1P 80 volt battery is still capable of powering this scooter. However, the voltage drop on this battery is quite severe. When it was under load, the voltage dropped down to 73 volts and it was a fully charged battery which started at 83 volts. A voltage drop would result a lower top speed so I reckon if I had a bigger battery say it's a 6 amp hour the voltage drop would be less and therefore I would have gotten a higher speed let's say it could probably max out at 2 or 3 more miles per hour more than this so if this one max out at 33 miles per hour a 6 amp hour battery would max out at about 35-36 miles per hour. This 72 volt controller is a beast. It provides so much torque to the motor that every time I try to push hard on the throttle it causes a wheel spin even at speed. This is a rather inexpensive controller. It only cost me about $30 on eBay. The only thing I wish it had would be cruise control. Unlike my previous 48 volt 350 watt controller, this one does not have cruise control. This motor here is 8.5 inch bird scooter motor. It originally came from a rental bird scooter. It works fine, but it does get pretty warm. I have to be clear that it does not get hot, just warm, meaning I can still put my hand on the motor and leave it there comfortably. I guess I pushed it a little bit too hard. The motor is exposed on the front of the scooter, so it's well cooled by air passing through it when the scooter is moving. I live in a temperate climate, so the weather doesn't get too hot here even in the summer, so this motor does benefit from it. But if you live in Arizona, where temperature is usually reach over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, I would think twice before I want to overvolt this motor which is originally ready for only 36 volts. Talking about motor, I do have a bigger motor I plan to put on this scooter. This is a 10 inch motor from a newer bird electric scooter. You can see it is significantly bigger than this 8.5 inch motor. I think this is a much better candidate that's more suitable for this 72 volts 1500 watt controller and I'm going to try to 
put this on my scooter in the next video not sure if it's gonna fit but it looks like it's gonna be tight until then thanks for watching and i will see you next time